let's talk about the structure of the registered real estate investment trusts in Kenya. First of all, it's very important for you to know that there are only three authorized rates in Kenya. These are the Elam Fahari I right, the Econ Student Accommodation Development right or Econ Student Accommodation D right, and number three, the Econ Student Accommodation I right or the Econ Student Accommodation, the Econ Student Accommodation Income right. If you want to start investing in the Elam Fahari I right, it's easy. All you need because it's it's easy because it's registered on the Nairobi Securities Exchange, and so all you would need is go to a broker, the same broker that you would go to if you want to buy stocks for Safaricom, KCB, and such other companies. And so you go to a broker, get a CDS account if you don't already have one, and start buying units into the Elam Fahari. I write just like you buy a, a normal stock, but it's also important to understand the, that the price of the Elam Fahari I write fluctuates uh, based on the forces of demand and supply, just like other stocks. So, and then number two, if you'd like to start investing in the Econ Student Accommodation Development right, well, I have some bad news. At the moment, it, you, you're not able to do that because this um, investment is reserved for institutional investors because anyway, the minimum amount you need to start investing in the Econ Econ D right is 5 million Kenyan shillings. And then if you want to start investing in the Econ student accommodation, I right, uh, all you'd need to do, this one is registered on the over the counter, over the counter platform. And so all you'd need to do is use a platform called VUCA and I will put the link on how to access it in the description box. Um, and this VUCA platform is an online platform that was developed and is managed by the Econ Investment Management Limited, by Econ Investment Management Limited. So you need to go on there, sign up. But the thing is, you need to be invited uh, by somebody who's already uh, accessing the VUCA platform. But don't worry, I'll put in the details in the description box. So that's um, how easy it is to start investing in these rates. But I'm sure that is not sufficient information. And so in the upcoming videos, I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step process on how to start investing in these three rates. For now, though, let's focus on what is the structure of the registered of these rates in Kenya? What is the structure of the rates in Kenya? Now, all the rates in Kenya, the three of them, are an incorporated trust registered at the Ministry of Lands and Physical Planning. Um, and incorporated to mean that they are not a corporate body or rather they are not a company, which means that they can or they cannot legally own the real estate in the real estate assets that uh, they are going to be investing in. And so, if you watch the first video in this series, if you haven't, please go back. You will learn that I told you that um, real estate investment trusts in Kenya operate in the same way as. Uh, money market funds. Why? Because both of them are collective investment schemes. Both of them involve collecting money from different investors like you and I and investing in certain assets. For a real estate investment trust, they, uh, they invest in real estate assets. Now, since I've told you that um, because it cannot legally own, <coughs> because it cannot legally own um, the real estate assets, that is where a trustee comes in the same way a money market fund uh, a money market fund work and so the trust has to have a board of trustees a board of trustees and a, ma and a management so the trustees own the property on your behalf and on behalf of the um of the trust in general or the rate in general and so this is one of the things that makes um rates in kenya a safe investment you know you'll not wake up tomorrow and somebody will with your with your money and this is a very very important aspect when it comes to your investment journey always make sure that you do the ground work to make sure that whatever you invested in is regulated and so maybe i forgot to mention that um all this real estate investment trust or these rights the three of them are regulated by the capital markets authority and the capital markets authority is a government um, agency or a government body that regulates investments that involve um, collecting money you know pulling money from different investors so so the cma has got your back and now that you understand that 
let us look at the um let us look at this diagram to understand the general structure of rates in kenya so up there you can see unit holders so unit holders are investors like you and i so as a unit holder or as an investor you invest in a right by now you understand what a right is and then on the right you can see that we have a trustee what i've talked about so a trustee acts on behalf of unit holders or basically is there to uh, to protect you by owning the property you know owning the property on your behalf and on behalf of the, the trustee of course they don't do this for free they usually charge a trustee fee and then on the left we can see manager so the people who uh, who manage we need people to manage these um physical real estate assets and so a manager is usually appointed by a trustee um to to manage the physical property and again they usually charge a management fee to do this um there's no there's nothing free in in the financial world and then so down there below the rate you can see properties and so now these are the physical properties that the rate um is going to be to to, to own or you're going to invest to invest in uh when you invest in a rate and so and then you can see there's a property manager a property manager works hand in hand with a manager and a property manager receives property management fees from the right also receives property management fees from the right um and then down here we have a sponsor and a sponsor may take may own a substantial stake in a right sometimes a sponsor sponsors typically owns both the rate manager um typically on both the rate manager and the property manager and we will go into even deeper details to understand um this structure but for now this is an awesome picture diagram to show you the general structure of a rate and where you come in and where the manager is and where the trustee is um in this in this structure now since i've already told you that um real estate investment trusts are regulated there are several laws um that are that are in, that have been put in place to protect you so for example you have the capital market real estate investment trust collective investment scheme regulation that was passed in 2013 and we also have the capital markets authority act um chapter 485a uh, so these two laws have been put in place to protect you as an investor and i'm going to give you an example two examples of laws under the capital markets real estate investment trust collective investment scheme regulation uh, to show you how well protected you are by the capital markets authority or your government the first law is is that the cma requires at least 80% of distributable income from rights is distributed to you as an investor. So when they do their business, when they acquire the property, they do their business that is renting out the property or um, developing the property and selling it, 80% of the profits every year should be distributed, at least 80% of the profits should be distributed back to you, which means that um, this is a very liquid investment. Every year you expect to be, to, to be sent some dividends. Law number two that is has been put in place by CMA to protect you is that 75% of I right or 75% of income right um, investment portfolio um, should be in income producing investment. So if it's an I right, 75% of its portfolio should be in income producing real estate assets within they should invest in income producing real estate assets within two years of authorization so you can't give them money as an investor and then they hold your money for more than two years without getting the right investments or without yeah without getting the right investments and the right investments in this case for an i right is income producing because it's only by having income producing assets that they are able to um that they are able to get money to uh to distribute to you or us as investors and now that you understand the general structure of how and of how rights work in kenya let's look at a summary of let's look at a summary of the three rights uh the three rights that i mentioned in the beginning of this video to understand which properties do they own who are their managers who are their promoters and so let's start with them Ilam Fahari I right the one right that I told you the only right that is registered or, or that is trading on the Nairobi Securities Exchange 
So the promoter for the Ilam Fahari I right is the ICA Lion ICA Lion Asset Management Limited. The trustee is the Cooperative Bank of Kenya. As you can see, um, I told you that the the um, the trustee holds their property on your behalf or own legally owns the property on your behalf as an investor and as you can see this is a big bank the cooperative bank of kenya and so the likelihood of this bank disappearing with your money is is nil which is why i'm telling you that rates are safe investments and then the rate manager for the ilan fahari i right is the ica lion asset management limited uh, the property manager is the CBRE Accelerate. And which properties does the Ilan Fahari I write on? Greenspan Mall. If you've been to Don Home, you know the Greenspan Mall. They also own the Bo Bay Holdings and Gitanga, 67 Gitanga Place. This is an office setup. Uh, this is an office building and highway house. Um, yeah, and highway house. So those are the four properties that the Ilam Fahari I right owns. And then what about the Econ Student Accommodation D right? Student Accommodation D rights promoter is the Econ Holdings Limited. The trustee again is the Cooperative Bank of Kenya. The rate manager is the Econ Investment Management Limited. The property manager is the Econ Management Services Limited. The properties they own, Kwetu Abadea Heights, USIU4, Kwetu Halingam, Chiromo, Kwetu, Chiromo, Kejani, Catholic, Kwetu, Catholic, Kejani. Uh, I'm sure if you, again, if you've been keen enough when you're moving around Nairobi, you've seen these properties. Uh, so for, for Econ, seeing is believing, you know, it, uh, they're not here to con you. And then the Econ student accommodation, I write, um, the promoter is the Econ Holdings Limited, same company. The trustee, again, is the Cooperative Bank of Kenya. Um, the rate manager is the Econ Investment Management Limited. Uh, the property manager is the Econ Management Services Limited. Which properties do does this I write own? Kwetu, Jogo Road, Kwetu, Ruaraka, Kwetu, Wilson View. I don't know how many of these um, of these properties you've physically seen. And there you have it. Um, that is this is the general structure of um, of, of the registered rates in kenya remember all of them are regulated by the capital markets authority which makes them safe investments see you in the next video when we talk about how to actually start investing in all these rates in details in the meantime you can also subscribe to this channel and come back next week for the next video